friends, what an honor to be able to share with you this morning. Shall we read from John 16 verse 20? You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn into joy. When a woman is giving birth, she has sorrow because her hour has come. But when she has delivered the baby, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world. God has most certainly spoken to us about the birth of a new era. But when there's the birth of something so significant, this word has been conceived in our hearts. It has grown in our midst. We have tasted and seen and our lips have been wet. But there has now come a time when this new era must be birthed. In the birth process, there is something defined as labor pains, a season of anguish and pain. And I believe that this new era is so significant that we are now living through the labor pains of the birth of this particular era that God is about to bring about in our midst. It is amazing to see how God will take an instrument of death in the form of a cross and out of that darkness produce a glorious good in the resurrection and the ascension and the birth of a new era of the church. In the same way that God will take this instrument of death that encroaches our doorstep and work it for a glorious good. This new era was defined as changing our whole way of life, our mode of operation as a church. But what absolutely thrills me the most is that as God is reshaping and remolding this wineskin, what it means for you and I and where we can take great faith and confidence out of is that as he's producing a new wineskin, what it means is that there is a new wine that is coming. God would say to us today is to lift our heads I am a purposeful God. I will not be rivaled. I will take an instrument of death and work a glorious good out of it. And I want you to know that as you lift your heads, that there is a new harvest that is coming. I am priming people's hearts with faith in me. And there's a new wine that is coming. And as the master of the ceremony said to the groom in John 2, these astonishing words, he said, you have saved the best wine until now. Let that be true in our midst as we live with confidence and hope and faith of the era that is to come. Amen.